How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a heroic day. Today I thought it might be cool to try out some live attacks for you and see what my thought process is for deciding what army to use on which base. So let's see if we can take out three districts in a row. Looks like we got the Balloon Lagoon. Alright. So we got a pretty nice layout where everything is on this left hand side. So let's go in with the classic 10 super wizards, 8 giants, and then 8 uh, of the rams. 3 of the graveyards, of course. Now, which side do we come from? The top side or down around 6 o'clock? I'm liking the 6 o'clock approach. So let's jump right in. I'm going to start by deploying a giant and a couple of the super wizards. Going to have to deploy a couple more since that Tesla popped. Because that will destroy the super wizards. So let's put a graveyard on the rocket artilleries. And then maybe somewhere in the middle here. All right. So let's start opening some walls, get the rest of the giants down, and then we'll see how long these wizards can survive. Get one on the flank on the left hand side. It's always good to sort of create multiple different groups for the super wizards. Just an off chance that rocket artillery slams into them, like so. Ugh, <laughs> oh, it got off one more hit. That is tragic. Alright, so now it's just a matter of getting rid of that last rocket artillery. So let's see if there's anything fancy we can do. Uh, so we're going to run into the bomb towers and the crusher, but we only need one or two rams, so let's get rid of those, do the rest with the giants, and call it good. So where do we want the graveyards? We want them to distract. We definitely want to distract this right hand side and then probably this other side with the spear throwers. But we're going to hold on to it. Because we don't want to send in the graveyard for that section right away. We got a couple super wizards going to the right hand side, that's fine. Just need to make sure that they survive. So now that the spear thrower is starting to shoot, let's throw in the other graveyard. And then as soon as that rocket artillery goes down, let's drop in the other couple wizards. Looks like one more on the right side might be good, and then we'll do one more the spear thrower because well, we'll want to try and take out those pretty quickly looks like all of the graveyard skeletons have spawned what's nice is we have the two groups so this first group might be able to take it out but if not we do have some reinforcements coming in very quickly Yeah, so all the wizards in that group had gotten defeated, but now we do have a couple more. Which is perfect. Nice. Anything trolly in the corners? Nope. So very nice. Two hit. I even got 6,000 on that last attack. So let's take a look. Wizard Valley, 7,000. Maybe. Let's see. Golden Quarry, oh, 6,500, that's uh, 
not that many points. And Skeleton Park. All right, well, let's... I guess it's Wizard Valley and Skeleton Park. I really hate attacking the Dragon Cliffs, so I let my clanmates do that. I just hate dealing with those dragons. No fun at all. So now let's go back to the... <clears throat> 8 and 8. It's always my favorite approach. Get, you know, nice few giants out in front and then a few rams. I'm trying to say, oh yeah, they, this one doesn't even have the giant cannons. So... Got the Infernos on the northern side, and a very interesting pocket, so I'll save that for last. Is it worth it to go down the bridge? I don't think so. I think this left-hand side is where it's at. So we'll drop down a couple wizards to clear those trash buildings to open up deployment. A couple more giants, we'll throw in a battle. Ram, I will do the graveyards sort of out in front. A couple more super wizards to clear. Do another ram to open up. And then... What's nice on this base is that there isn't too many things that can splash and hit the super wizards. So as long as you have stuff in front of them, I'm looking at this spear thrower. There's not too much that's going to the right hand side, so I want to make sure that as things go out of range, a couple of the rams distract it. Perfect. Because that one spear thrower would have potentially snagged a couple of these super wizards. Now, of course, now that we're in the core, they're gonna, you know, go every which way, so. Doesn't matter too much. We have a nice healthy group. I wonder if we can take out a large portion of this core. Really depends. Nope. The giant wants to attack that wall. But then he changes his mind, but of course it's too late, because now the wizards are in front of it. Alright, so got half the base, almost half the loot. Let's take a look and see. Ground or air. Usually I hit the uh, Wizard Valley with air on the second attack because of the giant cannons. Um, yeah, let's do air. Let's mix it up a little bit. Probably could get away with the same stuff, but... Add a little bit of variety, right? So yeah, there's not even an air bomb, so we'll just do some distracting units. We'll do the uh, means over there on a troll Tesla. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we will wait a second for these balloons to catch up. So the Inferno Towers are actually quite nasty to deal with. So once these guys get closer, we'll drop in two for the top one. And, oh man, they didn't get the cannon in time. That's all right. They're swarming, the whole swarm. And then once this building goes down, it'll open up deployment so we can get that spear thrower. We might as well throw in the last one, since they're all over there. Oops, I don't think... No more troll Teslas, which is perfect. And we still have a bunch of balloons left. Crazy. An extra 105 gold. Nice. So I believe the Skeleton Park has the most... 71 30... Yeah. And the Golem Quarry. Perfect. So we'll go for the Skeleton Park, last but not least. And let's see, it's uh, somewhat... I think it is the base layout. 
So, how do we want to do this? Ground or air? Multi mortar, multi mortar. I think let's do let's do ground first attack. Sometimes the the skeleton part can be tricky. For ground, if it's uh, defended well, but it does not seem to be the case. Just want to make sure that the troops are a little bit spread out, so they don't all die to the multi mortar. Two giants over there, popping a whole bunch of traps. All right, so let's do some of the graveyards in like so. Let's try and get some some tankage. So we're we're not too concerned about that wizard tower at all. So let's throw in the rest of them. So we did not get that wizard tower spur surprisingly. So now we're just trying to keep the rams in front of the wizards. I believe that should be all the skeletons. Do one in front now, one in front now maybe? Well, the spear thrower got onto the super wizard. But it actually kind of works out where those super wizards went down and then the giants went for the first bomb tower. So they get that one. And then do they get out of range? No, unfortunately. So only one super wizard left. Make that zero. Well then. The giants should take it out. And oh, we actually had... Some troops split off. Nice. Got some of the random trash buildings. Alright, so really all that's left is a few defenses. So, what do we want to use for the second attack? Got two bomb towers, giant cannon, multi mortar. Thinking air. Definitely air. Don't want to have everything clump up on that last section. And let's use something different as well. Make it a little bit more fun. Use the flying fortress with the graveyards. So essentially with this one we're just uh, trying to distract as much as we can. So as soon as the flying fortress gets locked on with all those defenses, we'll send in the balloons. And the goal is to have the flying fortress survive. It's pretty good so far. Got a few packs left. We'll do the rapid rocket since they're partially distracted. We can do this air defense on the back side and I'll take out that section and we've got the uh, Tesla preoccupied by the <laughs> random air skeletons it's perfect take out the last defense and that should do it awesome so we'll see how many points we end up in total but those are how I decided to take out those bases on the fly without really much planning at all looks like it should be twenty two and a half thousand so I think I was at zero before so uh, not quite twenty two thousand three hundred and fifty four from attacking the wizard valley balloon lagoon and the skeleton park so I hope this video was helpful maybe you can use some of these skills and tips and tricks in some of your raid weekends and let me know if they work out or not. I'm definitely curious. So, 
I'm up to, let's see, I'm up to, I think, 15 accounts for this raid weekend to get you guys some content. And also, as a sneak peek for all of you guys that have decided to stick around to the end of the video, we are just over halfway to Capital Peak Level 9. And we should be getting even more points in the future. Maybe this weekend, maybe probably two or three weekends we'll start getting some pretty big numbers, which will be exciting. So if you like the video, make sure to like it, subscribe. If you stuck around this far long, you might as well subscribe. <laughs> and uh, thanks so much for watching. There's a couple more videos on the screen if you want to check them out. Take care.